Hey all types here, back with some exciting new news in the world of House Ripper. So this has so far been sort of snuck in under the radar, but yeah, it looks like there's going to be a new DLC, uh, Luxury House Flipper. looks like it's going to be kind of high-end stuff. So I thought we'd do a little breakdown video, pretty short, just go through what we know so far, what the Steam page tells us, and do some wild speculation. So let's have a little look at the trailer. We'll let this play through first, and then I'll kind of step through it. Okay, obviously that zooms past fairly quickly, so let's just try and um, slow this down and break it down. So obviously the first thing you see is we've got a new house here. There's a few, there's a few, I think at least two or three revealed. Um, some interesting things to note as we go through this. Um, so this is obviously, this is obviously our regular kind of um, house with uh, plot. So we've got our you know pylon here. Differences so far that you can spot immediately are. Um, let's just run this through just a touch uh, a new boundary wall um, some things to notice as well that these look like they're shutters on the outside um, keep an eye on them as we go through because at the end that looks like these shutters have changed I think also this window um, changes um, so not entirely sure yet but it looks like some looks like the ability to change windows and the ability to change uh, shutters we shall see also plastering on the outside of the building we've not seen before so that's that's a new thing so, so let's run this through and we'll just kind of try to spot new things so um new wall paneling this is not something we've got in the game there is carpet on the stairs that's like half carpet hopefully this is something we'll be able to change because that's a bit of an issue at the moment um what else have we got? That's an existing window. That's a, a new mirror asset, a new door asset, another new mirror over there. Potentially some new furniture. I think this table set is new. Um, some columns. I wonder if we'll be able to change those. This whole floor set. Yep, that's a new floor as well. Um, running through. If you spot stuff that I don't spot, guys, then drop it in the comments below because it would be good to, good to see anything that I've missed. Um... I think this picture is actually an existing asset, so we might already have that. Let's just keep going. Uh, so this is an interesting one. So this is obviously the second building. We haven't seen this building before. Um, a slightly more modern shape, definitely a more modern house kind of look to this. Um, full sort of floor to ceiling windows here. Um, which is potentially, I mean, that might be the existing asset we already have for that, I guess. The double doors. Uh, so, yeah, again, a sort of big mezzanine kind of thing. Not seeing anything particularly new there. This one's interesting. So I'm not sure if this is a third house or just an extension to one of the existing ones, but you'll see a glass ceiling. Um, which we will see, we'll hear a bit more about this when we get into the Steam page. So we'll look at actually what it says on the Steam page. Um, some dividing doors here, glass exterior. Some interesting stuff if you look out of this window. I think we'll get a better view of it in a minute. But it looks like out of that window that there's a river. We're on a riverfront. So there's that, There's um. this is the renovated view of, of, of that. Um, so panelling, as I said, I think that's a new sofa, I think that's an existing coffee table. Um, this is a cool shot, so um, quite a few new, new bits in here. So this is obviously a recessed fireplace, so it'll be interesting to see how they do that, because that looks like it's recessed into the wall. Um, that is potentially just a standard um, column there. I guess this could hold. This could all be a, a, an existing part of the structure, um, but we don't currently have the ability to recess a fireplace in like that. Obviously, we don't have that actual asset, 
Um, so it might be that this is a, a whole thing that you put down or that that is actually something that you recess. We have seen that in the case of the extractor fans in the kitchen, you can recess stuff. So that potentially is something we can do. Um, I'm pretty sure this sofa is new that we're seeing in the foreground here. And there's definitely some new assets. Difficult to spot, but let me just kind of just go back a touch. Let's just see if we can catch it right at the beginning of the frame. Actually, it's kind of at the end of the frame. There. So a few things you can see. There's obviously a new plant there that's really nice. This kind of little um, uh, pot plant with legs, which is really nice. Um, I think this is a new table set. There's definitely some new glasses, a new bottle on the table. Up there is what looks like an exercise bike. If you see the saddle there and the arms of the uh, the handlebars of the of the of the bike so that's very cool very exciting um i think that's an existing in fact that's probably i think that's a new shelf set that narrow shelf this brick texture all looks like it's new as well potentially that's just part of the base of the building but that is not the brick texture we get as the standard brick texture on a on a building at the moment um, okay, new exciting things here, definitely. So we saw, I believe this is the room we saw earlier, sort of pre-renovation. Um, these glass doors are, are, are uh, already in the building from the looks of it. Um, but kind of the exciting things here is, is the obvious, the fact that there's a swimming pool inside the house or in this kind of um, additional structure, which is quite funny because this actually looks a little bit like something I might build um, out of paving slab stacking. Uh, but the really cool thing that you notice here is obviously this is a new this is a new um, swimming pool texture. So this is a new shape. We never had a square one before, which we definitely needed. So this is really awesome. Um, this one also looks like it does a much better job of kind of integrating into the deck or the tiling that you put around it. Um, so that's always been one of the kind of bugbears with the swimming pools is they. You kind of can't really blend them in particularly well but this one's got a really good like great uh drain texture around the edge of it also a couple of little bits to notice outside which are quite interesting is that looks like to me if you notice the level of the garden here the garden's up here so if you look at the lawn that looks like it's down lower so i don't know if that's a multi-tiered garden which would be quite cool or something else we get a different angle of this in a second this angle okay so i think actually what we're seeing on the left there is that this whole town is on a river bank that looks like a river to me that runs all the way down there you can see the other houses on the far side looks like a river bank um, we get a much better view of this glass ceiling here um, and some interest and these some of these things will be slightly speculative but if you notice that that glass, take note of the fact that there is a glass piece in there at the moment. Um, and we'll see this later on from the top view. Uh, these are obviously, I think these are new assets. I believe these mirror panels are new assets. Don't think we have a floor to ceiling mirror like that. Um, potentially some new furniture in there as well, I think. This shelf set, floor to ceiling, definitely don't have that at the moment. Um, new bottles, all those sorts of things, cool things that we've got. I mean, this would have made the bar so much easier, but there's about three or four different bottle assets up there that are new. Uh, oh, let's just go back that one. I think I think everything in that shot, uh, apart from the, the panelling, which is obviously new, these, this furniture is new, that's existing. Um, so we see the really nice got a blend between the different the new stuff and the old stuff i think everything in this shot is new this sofa is new this shelf is new the fireplace i think is existing those are new the mirror the doors not sure about this wall texture but hey ho and we're also not seeing any coving so maybe this suggests that this was done some time ago right okay so now I mean, this may be speculation, but there's no longer glass here. So is that telling us that we can have this with glass and not with glass? That would be really interesting. 
Um, also, I mean, again, very much speculative, but if you look at the way that this building's put together, I mean, that's almost like, you know, you wouldn't see that architecturally because you'd get this would fill up with water, rain would just sit on top of this. Um, so I wonder, it almost looks like it's a it's an added on building, but who knows, we shall see. Uh, and get a better view of those bottle assets and glasses and things there as well. So yeah, very exciting, very exciting stuff. And there's a confirmed, you can see the difference between the shutters there. And I'm pretty sure this mirror or this glass is new. Okay, so this is the actual Steam page for this. Um, as I said, it's not under, it's not currently actually under the house flipper parent um, in Steam. It's separate. So let's have a quick read of what this says. So no more, no more small houses with dozens of little rooms. Size is what really counts. Glass roofs, plate glass windows for walls and a ceiling many feet above your head. This is how kings live. Take run-down tenement houses and old industrial buildings, factories, large commercial buildings and warehouses and turn them into luxury apartments. Interesting. How would that work? Hmm. Moonrise Bay residents are customers that have high expectations. So these new customers, that's sort of suggesting a high, a completely new set of customers, which is not what we've had before. They are willing to invest a lot of money in a home that will make them proud. I mean, I guess that could work in the same way that the HGTV worked. Um, as well as adhering to the highest standards, you will have to get a feel for the specific tastes of your customers, even if they don't already have any. With new possibilities to insert windows, okay, confirmed, or create swimming pools inside houses, you will, you will be able to design interiors by making your wildest dreams come true. Nothing will stand in your way. If modern furniture is not your cup of tea, you can try to renovate furniture from past centuries. Interesting. Renovate furniture. It will not be an easy job, but the end result will bring you a lot of satisfaction. Utilising classic furniture doesn't mean giving up comfort. With smart devices, you can control your entire home. Change your colour. Change the colour of the light. Yes. Close and open the doors. Everything without getting up from your chair. Weird. With the luxury, luxury flipper game expansion, we're putting putting right into your hands dozens of types of new furniture, classic, contemporary, antique, and modern. A multitude of varieties of colour and modular sets will allow you to modify any room to fit your vision of the perfect home. It's time to visit Moonrise Bay. So, all very exciting stuff. Um, at the moment, this is saying February 18th, 2021, which seems a very, 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 very specific date for that far in the future, 18th of February. Quite why they've chosen that, I don't know. Maybe it's got some... Um, significance or some meaning of an event or something but yes thought i'd share that with you guys super exciting um this is available on steam at the moment i'll put a link in the description to the uh to the steam page for you to wish list nothing about console on this yet but you can only assume that with other dlcs it will come eventually um so yeah thanks very much for watching guys um, do drop any comments as I said if you've noticed anything I haven't and I shall catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.